It's the Wendy Williams Show. The kids have come to play today. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you. With all due respect, have several seats. My girls are always turned out. I give it to you straight, no chaser. I feel rested. Let's get started. It's time for Hot Topics. everybody who put, who's already put up their Christmas decorations. Yeah. It's like kind of depressing, you know what I mean? It, like they're up already and it was so warm over the week. It was just, just a nice weekend. I watched the Food Network and um, Bobby Flay had his Thanksgiving and I got all engrossed in watching. It was Sonny Anderson and Katie Lee, Michael Simon from The Chew, Alex was there, uh, Guarna Chelly, Alex, I got your last name correct, Alex, that cauliflower steak that you made as part of the dinner. I'm making that tonight for dinner. Yeah, no, you don't understand. <clears throat> she made the cauliflower steak and when she took it out, she judged it up with some stuff on it. It just looks so good. But no, she's got more, okay. I would rather eat that than genetically modified salmon. Now listen. You know, I'm a grocery store freak. I was at the grocery store over the weekend and we couldn't stop talking about the salmon. You all heard about this? Yes. The FDA just approved genetically modified salmon for eating. And they're saying that, that like restaurants and stores don't have to tell you that it's the genetically modified one. This salmon grows faster, like twice as fast as regular salmon. And that's what you'll be eating because I'm out, like I'm out. I, I, I wouldn't trust it to buy it at the grocery store. I wouldn't trust, just like salmon in general. I think this is gonna be bad for the salmon business. Like who's eating that? Would you eat that? Clap if you'd eat that. No. There's a couple of people here who would eat it. <laughs> I don't like when they cross breed food like that, except for one thing, I love an apple pear. Have you ever had an apple pear? Yeah. It's a cross between an apple and a pear and they grow it somewhere in a lab, but it's juicy. <laughs> It's juicy and it's, mm, they're really good. So um, I did not get a chance to watch the American Music Awards. Oh. On account of I was feeling nostalgic and I, I was on the internet. And you know what I ended up watching episodes of? What? James at 16. What? Does anybody here remember this show? <laughs> Clap if you do. <laughs> Clap if you remember this show. You, you don't remember this show? All right, well it came on at a very poignant time in my life. I was a young Wendy in eighth grade. It was only on for like a year. And this guy, his first name is Kevin, the actor, and his last name I forget. But I used to think he was so cute and it wasn't a sitcom. It was like, you know, James going through life and we were about the same age and you know, in eighth grade, you're not really going out and hanging out with your friends, so TV is your friend. And this is one of my shows. So I was clicking back and forth and I tried to watch the AMAs, but I was so engrossed with James. <laughs> but I hear that Jennifer Lopez was a terrific host. Yeah. 
You know, instead of coming out and telling knock knock jokes and making fun of people in the audience like a lot of times the hosts do, she stuck to what we love her for and that's shaking it and shimmying. Yeah. They, they, they say, <laughs> when, uh, when she opened the show, she did a six minute dance number. I can't even stay on the treadmill for six minutes. <laughs> Much less jumping around like that, right? She's pretty amazing. They say, they, yeah. They say that she wore 10 different costumes. Um, and the show was like three and a half hours. I don't understand why they can't make award shows a respectable two hours. You know what I mean? Like, like three and a half hours. It's almost like a turn off to want to watch them when you know they're gonna be so long because you have to be invested and we have to get up and do a show in the morning. And I, I'm busy. By the way, this dress right here, the first one, I almost wore it today on the show. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's raunchy, but in a good way. Um, anyway, so later on in the show, we're gonna, like I was switching back and forth between James and then remembering the VM, the American Music Awards were on. And so I'll tell you exactly what I saw. Okay, I saw Adele. I mean, did I see Adele? No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I saw Megan Trainer. uh-huh. And she held me for approximately two minutes, which is amazing because I have, you know, attention disorder. Uh, she held me for two minutes though. I really do like this young lady a lot. Um, and then, who oh, I see? I, I saw Jennifer in two different costumes, but she just quickly you know, threw it to the next person presenting. So I was able to do that, because that's like 10 seconds. And then I saw Justin Bieber getting rained on. And by that time, it was after 11 o'clock, I was shocked that I was still awake. But I had a good nap that afternoon. I just, I, uh, anyway, we're gonna break down the, um, the uh, red carpet hits and misses later on in our show with our fashion panel. Okay. <laughs> Did you watch Saturday Night Live? Yes. Well, I was sleeping. <laughs> As usual. That's how I am, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm awake on a Friday or Saturday night after 11 o'clock, it's because I'm about to hit the club. If I'm in the house, I am like lights out, like it's a, like it's a school night or something, okay? Anyway, they say Matthew McConaughey hosted. I don't know how he did, don't ask me. Um, and, they, and also Adele was the musical guest. Well. <laughs> wow, she's lost a lot of weight. Do you know how thin you have to be to wear fringe from here down to here? Cause you know, it, it, it adds, a, a fringe adds inches. You know what I mean? She looks terrific. Anyway, she stole the show they say. Uh, she performed two songs from her album, 25. And it's on track, they say, to beat NSYNC's sales record for biggest opening week ever. Good for her. Good for her. But they say that Adele's music isn't the only thing everyone's talking about. Women are going crazy over her eyeliner on her album cover. Adele didn't invent this look. Like, where have you all been? You take a liquid liner and you close your eyes and you gently do it. Like sometimes the simplest things that you all like just amaze me. Like Adele invented this. It's a liquid liner and you go like this and then you go like this. And you make it thicker as you go to the middle and a little thicker at the end and then you wing it out. Anyway, they're calling it Adele eyes. Not, like I love Adele. But let's get real, this is not a new look. Well, you know, this stupid show, <clears throat> we're always testing something. Suzanne, yes. let me see how they did your Adele eye. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I've ever seen you with makeup on before, mm -hmm. Suzanne. Mm -hmm. Let me see the before of mm -hmm. Suzanne. Oh, <laughs> and now the after. Yeah. Hello, it's me. Suzanne. Hello, it's me. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Suzanne, that's your look. Oh, yes. Have you ever done that before? No. Do you know how to apply makeup? 
No, I do it with my finger. Like, no, 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 no. I the know. Adele eye is with the liquid. Did you notice what they did with your eye? It's the liquid. Yes, I, I watched Nani upstairs do it. Yeah. And I'm gonna do it again. Hello. Yeah. You should do it again. Hello. By the way, um, how's the tattoo on your back? Did oh you my God, it's gone. But it took Jack and Pete to wash it off my back. It was pretty disgusting, but I had Jack do it first, and then yesterday I had to get in the bathtub, and little Pete, who's three and a half, had to take a washcloth and just go up and down my back to get it off. Did because, you use an exfoliator? Um, I just used Irish Spring soap. No, <laughs> what, what you should have probably done is used oil then. I know. Now, when your boys wash your back, do you ever turn around so they see your front? No, no, I, uh, just, just asking. Um, no, I, I was going like this, but... You know, I mean, they try to peek. There's not much to see, but, <laughs> but they you know, peek. they're a little curious. Yeah, how old are they again? Three and a half and seven. Yeah, uh -huh. Brendan wouldn't clean it off. He's like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> 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 Let's move along. Okay. So, so, Sophia Vergara and Joe Manganella just got married this past weekend. It is time for our celebrity shout out. Hit it. That is my jam. <laughs> that's, my, that's, my, that's my jam. <laughs> anyway, um, Sophia married Joe at the Breakers in Palm Beach last night. Apparently there was a whole weekend made of it, you know, with their friends flying in and stuff. There were 400 people there. And um, the, the, the flowers, they say it was a $4 million wedding. The flowers alone, they say the flowers alone were a million bucks. Worth every penny, like if you've got it. The flower arrangements look beautiful. You know, I don't even care about weddings. I don't suspect they'll be married for more than a year. Let's talk about it, okay. Now, Joe Manganiello, who probably at this point will never come here again, cause I'm talking. <laughs> Joe, Joe, you know I love you, and I do recognize that we were the first talk show you ever did. You've been here several times. You are so handsome, and I totally don't think that you're an opportunist. However, you've gone, for, he's gone from being, a, you know, a known actor and very hot, to, now he's A-list, cause he's with her. But not in the way that I think he's opportunizing off of her. She, however, seems annoying as hell. Now, I, I love Modern Family, but I suspect her to be like wah, wah, wah about everything. Like, pay attention to me. And a real hothead who throws vases and breaks dishes <laughs> when she fights, you know, and probably has a way about her where she bosses her man around to the point of like, you know, taking his privates off. Like, like just, you know what I mean? And he's gonna get tired of that. You know, like, I just picture her to be just way too much to deal with for more than a year. Quite, uh, no. I'll be honest with you. There were people in my Hot Topics meeting this morning who said that it wouldn't last for longer than three months. <laughs> now, I would say it'll last longer than that, even though they might want it to stop at three months, but to save face, you know, they'll just you know, keep it going for a year. And I'll tell you what, one of the big bones of contention, other than her being annoying and him being, look, he's, he's just a rugged guy from Pittsburgh who lucked up. You know, and sometimes when you don't grow up, you know, um, in that diva-esque lifestyle, like he's just a, a man from Pittsburgh. He's such a nice man. Um, but another thing that's going to get in the way of their marriage, other than her attitude, I, I don't know her, this is all in my mind, is Nick Loeb, the father of the two girls j jumping rope in the Petri dish. That, I mean, you, you have to realize, he, he wants to go ahead and, and you know, um, farm these girls, you, know, you know, have his daughters. And it's going to be annoying. And if she doesn't have kids with Joe, you know, and how old is she? Four 43. 43, okay, so she has a moment. Although at 43, I don't know why people at 43 think it's just gonna be so easy to have kids like that, but you know, I don't know, we'll be watching. I hope it does last longer than a year, but in my mind, it won't. Start the countdown. <laughs> this is what I do, everyone, sorry. Tyra. 
You heard? Well, she surprised a lot of people by quitting her new daytime talk show, which has only been on since September. Uh, only uh, After two months of the fab life, Tyra um, announced that she's leaving her show to focus on her cosmetics line. Well, you know, the show is called Tyra Banks Presents The Fab Life. Yeah. So for her to be quitting to concentrate on her makeup line sounds like any excuse is better than none. Any excuse is better than none. Like, you know, like, what, like you, you, knew, you knew you were working on your, anyway, Tyra, listen, I didn't realize that you had a makeup line coming out. It just seems as though it's so long overdue. You know, she's been in the beauty business for so long and now with America's Next Top Model um, ending for good um, on December 4th and now with this talk show um, that she's left. So I don't know the future of the talk show. Um, I, I, I don't know these two girls here at the end. Um, I, I've met Joe Z uh, once before and we know Chrissy Teigen, but if it's Tyra Banks Presents and then there's no Tyra, you know what, it's just, it's hard to probably be a co-host with other people, in my mind. You know, I'm so glad I'm the only one that sits here. <laughs> Because I'm not good at sharing and stuff, because I am good at sharing. I do have siblings. I was raised to share and, you know, at, like that. But it's just because there's so many different opinions and everybody talking over one another, trying to be, you know, the star of the show and stuff. I remember years ago, there was a show called Something or Another and Kamora Simmons was on it. What was it called? Life and Style. Life and, Life and Style. Yeah. yeah. This is back when I was in radio. This is like maybe 10 years ago. And I, more than that even. Gee. Oh yeah, no, I had a road to hustle before finally getting a talk show. But, but here's what happened. Um, there was this show and Kamora was on it and Selena Garrett or something or another, Garrett uh -huh. Uh -huh. and Jules Asner, she who's married to Steven Soderbergh. Remember, he, she used to be on the E! Channel and it was, it was like, you know, four or five girls and I got called in, you know, to the main office to, um, you know, interview to be on the panel. They really liked me. You know, my radio career was already popping. They were gonna be taping it here in New York. And I was like, wow, talk show. <laughs> but when I got there and, you know, I liked the other girls, no disrespect to them, but I was the only one who had broadcast experience. So, you know, here goes me, cause you know, I'm very opinionated. I'm like, okay, this all sounds wonderful, you know, but am I the Barbara Walters? <laughs> like. Let, 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 let's just get it started. Every, every panel show's got to have a leader. And I was the only one who was already in media. Do you know what I'm saying? And so I wanted to, I wanted to be the... Anyway, they said no, and it was really, really hard for me to do, but I stuck to my guns and said no, then I can't be part of this show. And so they ended up, they said no, Jules Asner is the, um, the Barbara Walters. And I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, no disrespect, Jules, but I'm just saying, you know, I have more broadcast experience than you, and I just felt as though I should have been the bar. Anyway, the show ended up getting canceled and whatnot. <laughs> um, Maybe I had too much of a good night's sleep. What's the matter with me? Anyway, um, I'm sure that you've all seen the viral video of the man singing Patti LaBelle about the sweet potato pie. Well, in case you've been passed out for the last week, I've got it for you to see. Just take a look at part of it. Patti. If anybody know Patti LaBelle, tag her in the video. Patty! Whoa! Yeah! That turned into Patty. You turned into Patty after eating this. Okay. It's so cute. So the video went viral, and over 10 million people have seen it. The, the, the pies, by now you know, are not even available at Walmart anymore. They won't be restocking them until sometime in December. Um, Patty is making people mad because people think that she should be giving him credit, you know, or money or a job or something or another. Well, I've got an opinion about this too. Um, but just take a look, because TMZ caught up with Patty 
Um, and and just take just take a look. Patty, how, how's the pie sales going? I gotta ask. How good is pie sales? Really wonderful. Do you, are, you gonna, you. are you gonna use him for more? Are you gonna ask him to do more stuff for you, that guy? I did it myself. Well, okay, I love Miss LaBelle, but I had no idea that she had pies. So when she says she did it herself, she might have, you know, had the recipe, but this guy really took it over the top. And I just feel, I just feel like, um, hey, salt and pepper, I haven't seen you in a while. Lady with the great gray hair, you're always here. I haven't seen you all, hey, nice to see you again. But look, I didn't know that she had a, a sweet potato pie line, so this man really did help her out. I think the thing with Patty that people are so pissed at is they, th they think that she should cut him a check or give him a job, but my thing is that why is she being so stink about him? Like she, and I, look, she called him up and she also sent him flowers. But if that's not enough, if, if, a, if, somebody, if somebody sticks a camera in your face, you're supposed to be a little bit more gracious. Now, I'm not with you all though. I don't think she needs to give him a job or cut him a check. Okay, that's Patty's doing. This man did help out. I don't even care for pop. Uh, honestly, I really don't. And people are looking for them and stuff and the show said that we were gonna get a bunch of them. I said, well, you can keep, like I tasted, <laughs> our, our, our cooking friend Amy was here the other day, you know, and she had a pumpkin pie and I can take a fork full of pie, I, I, you know, but a whole, a whole, I'm just not in, I like a cherry pie. <laughs> Once a year on George Washington's birthday. <laughs> Because remember, he's the one who chopped down the cherry tree, or at least that's how I grew up thinking. So I like a cherry pie, but even that, just a forkful. I don't care about a sweet potato pie, but I do care about, Patty, you, 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 you're acting stink to this young man, but don't send him money, but stink. Oh, well, here we go. Can't take any more wind. <laughs> My hairstylist Antoine is someplace backstage saying, oh no, don't do it. Okay, okay, it's windy. That means it's time for Wendy's windfall. Let's see what Suzanne's wearing today. Come on, Suzanne. Oh. Running out of ideas? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a nice hat though. I'm gonna have um, a really spectacular one on tomorrow. I really like the winged eyeliner. Yeah, I, I might wear it again. Yeah, you should. Uh, that's a good one. Look, uh, let's meet our contestant. Let's get him on the line. No, it's good. You don't know how to put on eyeliner? I, I don't really know how to. Hello, uh, 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 Sharon Loreen from Smyrna, Georgia. Is this you? Yes, it is. How you yeah. doing? It's Wendy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sharon. It, it's Wendy Williams. Yes, hi Sharon. Oh, I'm so excited. Hi Wendy, it's so good to talk to you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, cause you sound like you're in the middle of something. Are we calling you at your desk? Anyway, you uh, No, I, I'm, I'm watching Wendy actually. Oh, ah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you thought I was, I was a friend interrupting your watchation. Anyway, listen, uh, Sharon, you are Wendy's windfall contestant today. Have you been watching our show every day? on WAGA in Smyrna? Absolutely every day. I wouldn't miss Wendy for anything. Yeah. Thank you, Sharon. Go ahead, Suzanne, oh, spin the wheel for it. Sharon. Go! Playing for a thousand bucks. Yeah! All right, okay, Sharon. Thank you. All right, now look, on Friday's show, you know, we were talking about the list uh, from Billboard magazine, the greatest rappers of all time. Oh, yes. And I did a lot of shuffling because I disagreed with the list. Um, but then I also added that, you know, one of the greatest people to come out of rap, who I consider the GOAT, is which rapper? And go! LL Cool J. Yes, Sharon, yes! Thousand bucks for you. Thank
thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye, Sharon. If you want a big, win, uh, big money like Sharon in Wendy's Windfall, be sure that you watch our show every day because we might be calling you next. <laughs>